What's good, y'all? It's your boy Daru back in this thing. Now, a couple days ago, I reacted to the PlayStation State of Play June 2nd, 2022 event. And during that State of Play, they revealed some new games. Now, aside from the reaction I did, I decided that I wanted to talk about it. And I was trying to think of the best way to do that. And so I decided, you know what? The best way to do this is to rank the games from least hype to most hype, in my personal opinion. So this list more than likely is not going to match your least to most hype list. But at the same time, I think that's what makes this video more interesting, right? And y'all make sure to let me know how y'all feel about anything I got to say during this video down in the comments. And if you find yourself agreeing with me on a lot of these things, don't be afraid to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you mess with me. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting from number 12, we got the VR games. The first eight minutes of the state of play was pretty much the VR section. And as a person who not only does not own a PSVR, nor am I interested in getting a PSVR 2, none of these games excite me. The games are Resident Evil Village VR, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Retribution VR, No Man's Sky VR, and Horizon Zero Dawn Call of the Mountain VR. Which to be fair, that last one is kind of its own thing considering you don't even play as Aloy, but still I'm not really into it. Also don't get me wrong, I've beaten Resident Evil Village twice. That game is in my opinion the best game to come out in 2021, and it should have beaten It Takes Two for the Game of the Year award. It Takes Two was fun too, but not as good as Resident Evil Village. But with that being said, I'm again not interested in VR, so these games all have the same level of hype for me, which is almost none at all. Number 11, Tunic. This game isn't new. It came out back in March. If you don't know what it is, imagine Link's Awakening, but Link's a furry. No, but seriously, this game is very heavily inspired by Zelda, if the green tunic, sword, and shield didn't give it away. And the game looks like fun, but I wasn't really interested enough to play it when it came out back on PC, so I'm not any more interested with it coming to console. But hey, if Zelda likes are your thing, then this probably sounds pretty dope to you. Which again, not saying the game doesn't look fun. I'm just not personally excited for it. But if you are, and you don't have a PC, this game comes out on console September 27th, 2022. Number 10, Horizon Forbidden West Update. Horizon Forbidden West just got a huge update that added improved visual fidelity when using the performance mode on PS5 or PS4 Pro, a transmog feature which allows you to change the way your in-game outfit looks, the ability to respect skill points which is always nice, as well as an ultra hard difficulty for those who feel like this game could do with a bit more challenge. Also, this game added New Game Plus, so that's always nice for people who want to play the game more than once. And apparently, the New Game Plus mode has new weapons and even new trophies to get along with it. This update is actually out right now, and as a person who only played this game for about 5 or 6 hours due to it releasing only one week before the guaranteed Game of the Year 2022 winner Elden Ring, it's going to be nice to go back to it and reap all the benefits of waiting. Number 9, Spider-Man PC. Mods. That's the word of the day. I was lucky enough to be a proud owner of a PS5 since day one, so not only do I have it already, but I've beaten this game and all of its DLC on PS4. But putting this game on PC opens it up to one of the best aspects of PC gaming, which is the ability to download and play using mods. That alone is enough to breathe new life into this game. So for that, I am more than happy to get this game again. By the way, for some reason they didn't mention this during the state of play, but Miles Morales is also coming to PC with this one. So yeah, double the pleasure, double the fun. These games are coming to PC August 12th, 2022. Okay, so at this point, we're officially about to go into Uncharted Waters, aka games that are actually new and not just ports of games that we've already played or VR versions of games that already exist. So with that being said, let's get into it. Number eight, Season, A Letter to the Future. I can't really say I'm hyped for this game, mostly because I have no idea what it is. It looks like one of those artsy games where the only point in playing it is just that, to play it. You aren't really there to accomplish a goal of any sort. You turn this game on to take in the environment, relax the quiet nature sounds, and lose yourself in the awe of the beautiful landscape you're traversing. I mean, I like those kind of games as much as the next guy, but for obvious reasons, a game like this can't really generate any kind of hype. Maybe I'll play it, maybe I won't. Either way, this game comes out August 2022. Number seven, Eternites. So as soon as this trailer started, I see an anime character who looks to have just gotten his arm cut off. So being the weave that I am, I was immediately interested. This looks like it's going to be an action combat JRPG in which you control multiple characters with different fighting styles, abilities, and will probably fight against some great evil that threatens to destroy the world. Look, it's anime. Y'all know how this goes. It's really easy to mess up a game like this, so we're going to have to wait and see how it turns out. But obviously, I hope it's good because I do want to play it if it is. The game releases early 2023, so hey, not that far away. Number six, Roller Drone. This game just looks fun. I'm a huge Jet Set Radio Future fan. Yes, specifically Jet Set Radio Future, the one that came out on the original Xbox. Don't get me wrong, Jet Set Radio is good too, but Future is just better in every single way in my personal opinion, especially so in the category that matters more than any other, which is gameplay. It looks better, runs better, and feels better to play 
I don't know why Future isn't the one that gets the remake or remaster treatment. But anyway, everything I just said should explain to you why I'm excited for this game. You're skating around, ducking and dodging past enemies, flipping and dipping off half pipes while shooting at enemies with pistols. Maybe this game won't keep you on it for hours at a time, but it will for sure be a blast to play in small increments. Although, if they add multiplayer, then I could definitely see myself playing it for hours. This game comes out August 16th, 2022. Number 5, The Callisto Protocol. So I think we all thought the same exact thing when they first showed this game. We were all like, what? Dead Space? They're making another one? But as it turns out, we're half right. This isn't Dead Space, but it was actually made by the creator, Glenn Schofield. And you can see the Dead Space inspiration in the aesthetic of the environment and the enemy designs. Dead Space was another franchise of games that I skipped, not because they didn't look good, but because I was young, man. I didn't have the money to buy whatever games I wanted. So when I did get to get games, I had to be very selective with my choices. And I had friends, so I always gravitated more toward multiplayer games. But this game is one that has me interested, so we're going to see how it turns out. If it's anywhere near as good as the Dead Space games were, then I think we have nothing to worry about. The Callisto Protocol is set to release December 2nd, 2022. Number 4, Stray. Maybe you could call me biased since I'm a huge cat person, but I've been excited to play this game since it was revealed. Apparently you play as a stray cat, hence the title, and you go on some sort of adventure. There doesn't look like there's much to the game itself. In the trailer we've seen at the state of play, they show that at certain points there will be enemies trying to attack you. There will probably be some sort of puzzles in the game. No combat system as far as we can see, but hey, to be honest, if the game was just a walking cat simulator, I was still going to buy it. But now I won't even have to because they showed that if you have one of the higher tiers of PlayStation Plus, aka anything above basic, you get the game for free which gives you no reason to not at least try the game out. It comes out July 19th, 2022, and this is one I can't wait to play. Number three, Resident Evil Remake. As a late blooming Resident Evil fan, I gotta say that I'm pretty excited to play the Resident Evil 4 Remake as I never got to enjoy the original Resident Evil 4. I know that's like the fan favorite one too, so that makes me even more excited. I mean, there are people that have this game as one of the greatest video games of all time in their personal opinion. And people claim that this game still holds up to this day. And it probably does. But I'm going to go ahead and wait until the remake drops to enjoy it for the first time. And as I stated before, I'm really excited to do so when it comes out on March 24th, 2023. Number two, Final Fantasy 16. Uh, Final Fantasy 16? This is self-explanatory, but I'm going to explain it anyway. This is a game we have all been waiting to hear from since the Awakening trailer back in 2020, before the PS5 was even out. From everything we've seen, we know this game is going to slap. It's the next game in the mainline Final Fantasy series, even though each story is different, but it's still numbered, so you know what I mean. And it seems that this one is going to have a strong focus on summons. Like, I think I've seen characters literally transform into the summons at one point during the trailer. Look, Final Fantasy is one of the most well-known and well-received franchises in gaming history for good reason. There's no way the first next-gen Final Fantasy game won't go crazy. The game is set for a summer 2023 release, so it's safe to say that we are officially one year away from this game that is all but guaranteed to be an absolute banger. And number one, Street Fighter 6. This is by far the game that I am the most hyped about, not only from this presentation, but for the next year or so in general. Overhauled combat mechanics, amazing graphics that don't even look like Street Fighter. It looks more like Tekken, which is not at all a knock. Tekken is another one of my favorite fighting game franchises of all time. Bro, this game could be the one to finally dethrone Third Strike after 24 years. By the way, just so you guys know, I call dibs on Jamie. All of you watching, you're not allowed to use him. He's my character. Him and Cammy use somebody else but yeah the only two fighting games that could generate more hype than i have right now for street fighter 6 could either be dragon ball fighters 2 or tekken 8 or tag 3 whichever direction they decide to go in but i cannot wait to play this one it comes out sometime in 2023 hopefully early 2023 i need this game now but 2023 isn't bad considering we're already halfway through 2022 and more than enough good games are still coming out this year to hold us over until then not saying street fighter 6 is the best upcoming game but as far as fighting games are concerned, I am not more hyped for anything than I am for Street Fighter 6. And that is going to do it. That is all the games shown at the PlayStation State of Play June 2nd, 2022 event. Again, if you find your opinions aligning with mine, make sure y'all hit that like button to show me that you agree with me. I mean, you don't have to agree with me to hit the like button. Even if you disagree, just, you know, let me know down in the comments. But you can still hit that like button. So, yeah, that is my time. Make sure y'all show a lot of love to this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we're up out of this thing. This is your boy. Diver the Kid signing out. Peace.